plagues were not the only danger New Orleanians had to contend with. Fires destroyed four-fifths of the city's business district during Spanish rule. And if the fires weren't enough, there were the floods. Life in Louisiana was often harsh and short. So the people of Creole Louisiana learned to celebrate the passing pleasures of this world. From the earliest times, people in Louisiana loved to eat. Governor Miro commented that he was making 4,000 pesos a year and he was spending 8,000 of it in entertaining, and it was expected of him. But it wasn't just the governor who liked to entertain. New Orleans became a city famous for its sumptuous balls and masquerades. All through the Spanish period and the American period, balls were everywhere. There were probably three or four a week. At one time, I think there were 50 ballrooms in New Orleans that were very well attended several nights a week. Extravagance was the order of the day. A ball might begin with 50 dishes for supper. Then around midnight, there would be a snack. Then about three in the morning, there would be breakfast. And then about eight in the morning, before everybody went home, there'd be some more snacks and some more coffee. Fantastic amounts of coffee, cakes of every sort. Of course, New Orleanians indulged in more than just coffee and cakes. One item alone constituted a third of all imports to the city, alcohol. But while Creoles danced cotillions until daybreak in New Orleans, the age of revolutions raged on elsewhere in the world. 